Hi, and welcome to the Knitting Game and Other Stuff. This is now version 2.3, I think, episode 3 of season 2. Um, as you know, I may have uh, mentioned before that I'm kind of changing the way I do the show and the format and where I record and how I record. So, again, I am recording this from my handy dandy camera phone. I have a Galaxy S4, so it's very, very nice. I'm using the Google camera that you can get from the Play Store to record. And for some reason, I don't know how I did it the last time I record here where I flipped the screen around, um, but I can't do that now. I don't understand why. It's kind of weird. But anyway, uh, I recorded last, I think, on Saturday because it was a great mail day. So go back um, a quick little episode and you'll get an update on the goodies I got in the mail. Um, so today I'm just going to kind of go over what I've been working on and say hi to everybody. Um, let's see, first thing I've been working on is still my Calapatus. It's the cross between the Bactus and the Calapati, as far as I can tell. And I'm probably saying that horribly, horribly wrong. But I will show you my progress to date. Now I started this on May 8th which is when we flew out for our anniversary trip to Hawaii. So this is kind of like my anniversary knitting and I'm still, you know, kind of getting that done. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. This is how it looks now. As you can see up here at the top, I'm getting into the darker purple part and the violet and red and orange. And this here is my bag. I made the bag out of fabric that I got on vacation at the Dole Pineapple Plantation and I saw it and I had to get it and I knew I would make myself a bag with it so that's exactly what I did. So I'm almost to the end of this ball. So spin you around. I have this much left. So you probably can't see it's kind of got that this kind of purple and then this plum on the inside and instead of turning around and starting to do decreases when I hit the middle of the ball I just ordered a second ball of yarn and it hasn't come yet so the second half will be decreased uh, in the backwards. So I'll start with the purple and then go to the violet, then to the uh, red, then the orange. So that's how that one's going to work. So, and I'm kind of getting to the end of the ball that I have, so I think I'm making pretty good progress with that. Now the second project that I started this weekend was the park slope. It's the pullover that won the knitting game. So let me show you the progress on this one. So here we have, I get, it is the strangest construction I have ever seen. So these are the shoulders right here on the non-working edge. These are the shoulders here and the, you work backwards. So this is actually the back of the neck right here. And it is really the coolest construction, so I can't wait. I gotta knit like back down my back a certain amount. And then I take two other needles that I picked up over the weekend, right? And so I pick these up um, and I pick up the stitches and I work forward, and then somehow, because it's seamless, right? So somehow. I pick up the stitches, I work forward, and somewhere there's like increases and decreases and a whole bunch of stuff for the sleeves, and it's interesting. So the yarn I'm using, <clears throat> excuse me, this is um, Knit Picks, like comfy fingering or something. It's a cotton nylon blend. So it's this plum purple color. I guess that's about as good as it's going to show up is right there. So it's about a plummy purple color. And I wanted, because the, the park slope is kind of like a, a t-shirt, a cotton t-shirt, I figured I'd use cotton. Well, it's not a cotton t-shirt, but it's a t-shirt. They call it a t-shirt. 
the designer, Laura Ayler. I love her stuff, by the way. Um, <clears throat> so it's a t-shirt, so I figured I'd try cotton. I've never knit in cotton before, and so far, this stuff is pretty nice. I kind of like it, so we'll see. I have another project that I've been thinking about. Um, a friend has asked me to do a knockoff sweater, and it's the, the original is done by Ralph Lauren, and I think I want to try to knock it off, so I want to kind of design that. So, the other thing I was thinking about, and I wanted to ask you guys, is what do you think about doing a knit along? Um, like a kind of an unofficial knit along. I don't know that I'd give any prizes out, but I was thinking maybe over the summer, and I know it's sad to say, you know, this is June, it's June 2nd. Uh, I've already started thinking about Christmas knitting, and it's kind of funny. So, I don't know if anybody else, <clears throat> excuse me, is thinking about Christmas knitting or. I don't know, knitting projects, just something to get through the summer doldrums. And the air conditioning just turned off and it got really quiet and I was yelling. <laughs> so that's pretty bad. <clears throat> so I am in the guilt space, but whatever. So in the thread or, yeah, in the forums, let me know if you guys want to do a knit along, uh, like an unofficial summertime get through the summer knit along maybe I don't know the summer get through the summer knit along whatever so let me know if you guys would like to do a knit along anyway uh, I'm gonna keep it under 10 minutes so I'm at 719 right now so I think that's good uh, let me know how you like the format of the show being kinda short uh, I know the images might be a little herky-jerky because I have to hold the phone to hold the phone so I was hoping to grab my video camera tonight and just set it up here in the the guild but uh, my husband picked me up for, straight from the train station and we came straight up here so he could get some extra practice time down for his banjo lessons so I was kind of like well what are you gonna do right so anyway thank you all for joining me uh, I will see you maybe before next week uh, just I kind of like this on the spot kind of quick little quick and dirty little recording just to keep up with things and I, I feel it's going much better so let me know about that too. Alright everybody I'll see you sometime in the future. Alright.